Let's use a drop down to automate our colors. There are many ways you can set up a comp to allow for automated color change. The goal of setting up a comp like this is to allow the end user, which is presumably an editor, the ability to use a simple UI to make an efficient edit and keep moving. I'm gonna be diving into a project I built for the NLL because it had some fun challenges. We have the league who also has six different secondary colors to incorporate and also the primary and secondary colors for each team. First, I'm going to show you the title card execution because we had multiple options based on their dropdown selection. Then we'll dive into the matchup asset to see how all of that worked. Automated color, especially when you're working with a large palette or volume of teams, will keep the content on brand regardless of who is executing. If you're finding this content helpful, please give it a like, share it with a friend or coworker, and make sure you subscribe so you're the first person to know when each new tutorial drops. Now, let's get to it. So I got a request about how I set up my colors for different teams. And a lot of times you see this with matchups, so you can use this in multiple places. I wanted to start off with the title card here, though, because I have different colors based on the NLL and all the different teams that they have. And depending on what I select in my dropdown will automatically select the proper colors. First, I, I want to call out that I actually use an extension for this called Pseudo Effect Maker. If you're going to have a lot of inputs here, say you're going to have colors for your whole league, you're probably going to want to use Pseudo Effect Maker because it allows you to create in a way that maintains everything into one buttoned up looking file. So I don't have, you can see everything is all under one effect here. And that's the benefit of using that. All right, so this title card is tied to one team. Primary color on the bottom, secondary color on the top. So when I change this team, you're gonna see the gradients change. So if I go up to Halifax here, actually I already have them drop down, we see a primary and secondary. So secondary is orange up top, primary is purple down here. And I name this in a way that allows me to quickly update when I'm adding this to a layer so that I automatically get the color that I'm looking for. But it's all based on this number, which is tied to this dropdown so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Halifax is seven. I have seven in front of my primary and secondary colors. And if you haven't worked with dropdowns before, I suggest you go back and watch a tutorial that I did about dropdowns because dropdowns are essentially numbers. And although you see text here that you can edit, these dropdowns are numbers. So one, two, three, four, and so on. However many, however many teams you have, equates to a number, and these do start at one. So if I change this again, say Panther City, and let's go to Panther City Lacrosse Club, and we have purple as the primary, gray as the secondary. So when I go to create these expressions, so I have my home highlight, which is the bottom right-hand side, and the away is the upper left, and that's just how I, how I did this because home is on the right, away is on the left and for the title card i kept that so i could use it for primary and secondary so when i have my home highlight i am calling out this let me get my controller back here and lock it i'm calling out this team drop down and that's how i'm getting my number team so this is team so that's that and then color primary this comp controller, master, lower right title. So this is the lower right title, which is this title gradient in here. And this says lustrous yellow. So what's going on? Well, because of the way this package is built, they wanted the ability to create with the colors of the teams. And they also wanted the ability to create with the colors of the league. So if I go up here to the league, NLL, one, you can see I have six different secondary colors here. So if I change Panther City to NLL, then 
you see that the upper left title is blue and lower right is yellow. And I did this intentionally so that I could use the numbers here. So this drop down is going to be the first number you see. And so the primary for NLL is always going to be this gray. Let me switch it back to NLL. But I wrote a conditional statement in here that says, if this team color, if the NL master equals one, so if the team color equals one, basically saying if it's the NLL, then use the team color dash secondary, which I have up here, right? One dash secondary. I'm, I'm writing all this into the code and I'm putting it in quotes. And you also have to make sure that you have the spaces correctly here. So team color doesn't have any spaces around it. So I, since I have a space here, I included that. If I was smarter about it, I probably would have done it without the space when I created it. Things to improve on for next time, I guess. And then I also have a space here at the end because then I also have one through six here at the end. And color primary is what I am tied to here. So this color primary is what I called out here. And this is the lower right title. So it's this one down here. So that's lustrous yellow. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's saying to look at one plus dash secondary plus the color primary, which is six. So since all this is tied to a dropdown, and again, this dropdown is one through six, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I change this to, I'm on the wrong one. If I change the lustrous yellow to morning star gray, that number is gonna change to one. So secondary one is this color, and you see that reflected here. The other side of this conditional is saying, if it's not one, because at the beginning I put equals equals one, so it's saying else if it's not one, which means the rest of our teams, we're going to have it focus on the primary. So this is a way that you can set it up to tie your colors to a dropdown and tie both the primary and the secondary color into the dropdown so that all you have to do is select the one dropdown for the team and it does require you to decide when and where your primary color is going to appear and where your secondary color is going to appear. So let's switch back to a team. Let's say Colorado. So my home highlight is dark red and the away highlight is the gray. And the beauty of this is that if you look really closely at this expression, this expression is nearly identical. In this top one, you see it says dash primary. In the bottom one, it says dash secondary. So if the team is selected, the secondary color is going to be in here. If the NLL or the, the league is selected, the secondary color can be selected from this dropdown. So what I'm doing is under the hood, I am tying all this stuff together. Well, for the end user, I'm simplifying this down so that the, the end goal is a very simple UI that they can just easily select whatever team they need or want. And it's much more user-friendly and intuitive. So how does this work with something like a matchup? So I'm going to switch over to my matchup here. And I've turned off a couple things because I just wanted to make this simple for you to be able to see how all of this works. So I have gradient ramps in here that go from the primary color to the secondary color on both sides. And those are tied again to whoever is selected. So these teams are the only thing that you need to update and change and everything comes along with it, even the text. So the color, the primary, secondary, the background I decided was gonna be primary, 
And then the text for the team goes from primary to secondary. And same thing on this side. So home team's on the right, away team on the left. And these are just reading the same thing. So my team here, so if I do my away team background, if I hit EE to reveal, this is much, this is a little simpler because there's no conditional statement. I'm saying, look at the away team and the away team value, one, two, three, four, five. So Colorado is five. Let me go up here. One, two, three, four, five. You just have to make sure you have it laid out correctly. Five. So I have five at the beginning, and that's what calls out the team. And I, I also did this so I could name them because if all I said was five primary and I didn't have the name up here, if I needed to go troubleshoot something, it makes it much more difficult to do that. So that's another benefit of using the pseudo effect maker. So because I've decided and made all these decisions and set this up so I have my primary and secondary, I've tied it all to this dropdown and I'm having my away team, which is the dropdown, plus dash primary. So my Colorado away team is selecting the five and then I'm adding, again, space dash space primary. Case is important too, so make sure you spell it and case it correctly. And then for my home team background here, if I hit EE, this is looking at the home team. So the home team is here. So if I got rid of everything here, this whole look, if I unsolo everything, this whole look is driven just by two simple drop downs changing the text changing the colors placing the primary and secondary putting the background color in and driving the logos as well so everything is tied up and based on the number that i have in my drop down that is driving the colors because I built it out in a way that would read the number from the dropdown and predefined what assets I wanted to have the primary and secondary colors on. So I hope that's helpful. Look forward to seeing what you do with it. And thanks for watching.